the Avenue Grammar topic is present perfect versus present perfect continuous tense. We know both tenses as we, uh, before, we've studied them before, present perfect and present perfect continuous. Here we put them together and compare them to know the usages, differences, and meaning. The present perfect tense. The present perfect has many uses and is very common in English. So here, the most tense used in English is present perfect tense. Generally speaking, and present per the present perfect is used to connect the past and the present. We often use this grammar for an action that started in the past, but is still happening today. So we use present perfect to talk about something happened in the past, but still happening or left us um, uh, an effect. So still has an effect. Here is an example. I have lived in San Diego for 10 years. The meaning here, I moved to San Diego 10 years ago and I still live here today. So something started and in the past and maybe still continue till the present. The present perfect connects the past and the present together. Another common usage of the present perfect is to talk about recently finished actions, often with the word just. So when you want to talk about something finished in the past without any effect and finished long time ago, that is past simple tense. We talk about something finished long time ago and didn't leave any effect for us. This is past simple tense. But present perfect is something happened in the past, but it was near past. To talk about recently, here notice the word recently finished action. For this reason, we use the word just, because just means something finished short time ago. And of course, it leaves us an effect. The example, Susan has just mopped the floor. So don't walk on it. Susan here in the picture is mopping the floor. She, she finished, she's just finished. Just moved, uh, just moved the floor. So he tells you not to walk on it. Why? Because maybe it's still wet. Why? Because she's just moved it or just finished. If the floor is okay now and dry, she would use past simple. She would say, Susan moved the floor. So it's okay now you can walk because it's a long time ago and now it's dry so you can walk. But here they use the word has just moved. They use the tense present perfect to express something has finished but in near future, just short time ago, and use the word just. The present perfect tense, now we can decide the form, have or has plus past participle. Negative has not or have not plus past participle. But what does the past participle mean? Past participle for regular verbs, the same as simple past tense, we know that we just add to the verb ed to the verb. So here we can make any verb like play, 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 study, 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 and so on. These are regular verbs. Okay, what about irregular verbs? Irregular verbs depends on the verb itself. For example, the, where a verb like no, the past is new and past participle is known because this is irregular. Get, for example, got, the past participle is got also. Note the simple past and the past participle forms are the same for certain verbs, like teach, taught, taught, bring, brought, brought, have, had, had, sent, 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 with the T. Okay, so we finished the present perfect, talking about something happened in the past, has just finished in the near future, and left us an effect. Okay, what about present perfect continuous? It's from the same family but here it has the idea of continuous notice the word continuous so any continuous when you see the expression or the word continuous we all remember the ing 
So it's uh, like mixed of present perfect and the idea of continuous. The present perfect continuous is often very similar in meaning to the present perfect tense. Often very similar. Sometimes, by the way, we can use them like alternatives, but not all the time. So let's see. Just like the present perfect, we can use this grammar to talk about something that started in the past, but is still happening. But the present perfect continuous focuses more on the continuous action, focus on the duration. The emphasis is on the duration of the action. So present perfect continuous focuses more on the duration, not on the action itself. It began raining two hours ago. Is it still raining? It is still raining now. If we said it has rained, so that means it rained and stopped, but the, everything is wet and the, the result or the effect of the rain still we can see and feel. But when we say it is, it has been raining, so that means it started. Let's, let's imagine the timeline. Present perfect continuous takes the whole timeline. What I mean, something started in the past, still happening in the present, and may continue for uncertain time. We don't know when to stop. So it has been raining for two hours, mean? That means it started raining two hours ago, still raining till the moment, and maybe continue. We don't know when to stop. This is the meaning of present perfect continuous. Difference in meaning. Unlike the present perfect, the present perfect continuous is never used to talk about recently finished action. So never, take care of the word never, 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 never use the word, the present perfect continuous to express finished actions because it expresses actions are still happening till now, okay? Susan has mopped the floor, present perfect, recently finished. Okay, finished mopping, she's, fi she's finished. But here, Susan has been mopping the floor for 15 minutes. That means, oh, poor Susan, she's still doing that. She hasn't finished yet. So the form is has or have plus been all the time, been plus verb ing. The negative, of course, not, we add the word not between, where is not? between have or has and been. So John has not been living. Uh, we have not been exercising and so on. More examples of present uh, perfect continuous. Jane started to work in her garden at eight this morning. Now it's 12. She's been working in her garden for four hours. That means she's very tired. She must be tired because she's still working. She hasn't finished. She worked for a long time. Here, the focus is on what? The action? No. The focus in the duration. Where's Kelly? She's sleeping. She's been sleeping for a long time. So she's still sleeping now. Look at the picture. She's sleeping now. So present perfect continuous. She's been sleeping for a long time. She started sleeping two or three or four hours ago. She's still sleeping now, and we don't know when to get up or when to wake up. Note, in English, we don't usually use stative, non-action verbs with continuous tense. This point is important. Note this, please. Stative verbs can never, they can never take ing. We never add ing to the, to the state of verbs. So what to do? If we talk about something still happening till now, and the verb we use is state of verb, please put it in present perfect tense, not in the present perfect continuous. Despite I know that the meaning is continuous, but the verb is stative, so we can never use present perfect continuous. Like that, Jane got a headache two hours ago. Okay, she still has a headache now, so she has a headache now, but we can say Jen has got a head. So it's, it's the state of got, got is a verb that never take, take ing, so we say got a headache. She's been having a headache for 
10 for two hours. We can say that. Because have, here we talk about the verb have. She's been having a headache. No, we can say that. We can we have because have means own, never takes ing. So we can say having because having means, uh, because having have is a state of verb. Have is a state of verb. We don't like to put it in continuous form. So instead we use present perfect. Jane has had a headache. He used present perfect, so has, and plus participle of the verb have, which is had. So Jane has had a headache, not Jane has been having a headache. Why? Because the verb have is stated. Thank you.